and we have a two-point Utah advantage. Rick Kamla, Isaiah Thomas, Dennis Scott. We're joined by Neil Olshay of the Portland Trailblazers. He's the president of basketball operations. Neil, thanks so much for joining us here. We see uh, Shabazz Napier with the shoulder injury started, you know, the game, but did not start that second half. What can you tell us about that? Was it was it the bang-ups with, yeah. with Aaron Kraft well, here that, at the end of the half? That's what happens when you run out at a guy running full speed with point three on the clock. You get what you deserve. Yeah, well, I mean, I, mean, well, I guess he was he was afraid he was going to hit a half-court now, runner. Now, Neil, hold on a second. Isaiah was saying it was get back for the hard foul that Kraft gave Napier right before that. <laughs> well, I, I would have picked a better spot than when he was running full <laughs> speed. I can tell you that. So yeah, so no, he uh, he's out shoulder sprains. So we'll see how he's doing after the game. Hopefully he's okay. Neil, you put together a great roster, and we were we were looking at your your 10th, 11th, and 12th spot, and there's such competition for those spots. And you do have some guaranteed spots there, but you you got such talent there. Are you are you willing to at least maybe eat a contract if the talent is good enough? You you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, no. Look. I mean, I, mean, look, I, I mean, it's, it's when you look when you work with you know with Paul, right? Yeah. I mean, I you mean, you guys have done a great job in putting together talent. You know, look, he's all about depth. You know, we put a model in last year, Isaiah, where you know we had to rebuild when Lamarcus left, and we chose not to bring the other guys back and. We built around Damian and CJ, and we basically went after guys, you know, 23 to 27 years old. We wanted guys, you know, that were going to be at least be restricted, mm -hmm. so we controlled their rights or on long-term deals. And we did the same thing this summer. You know, that's why we went after Shabazz. You know, we think he has a chance down the road. He's not going to have to play much. You know, with CJ, Dame, and, and Evan Turner playing yeah. point. And the big thing for us was depth. You know, we want to keep adding guys. Um, you know, look, it's. It's an asset acquisition, you know, kind of phase, yep, yep. but but it's also Terry's done a phenomenal job of integrating all these guys and playing their skill set. So we think we've got a lot of versatility. We've got depth. You know, other than Dame and CJ, we maybe don't have that superstar guy. You yeah. know, like we saw what happened yeah. in Golden State. So we're going to have to do it in numbers and versatility. I, I I love the the versatility that your roster has, and when you talk about doing it, you know, with numbers and not necessarily having the superstars. But you guys have been great at developing your players. Talk about the, the the development that your coaching staff has, and also what you used to do in terms of how you develop players. And did you put some of that thought into the coaching staff that you put together when you talked about developing these young players? Well, you know, Terry and I are both you know we're both proteges of Coach Gergovich, mm -hmm. and we both have the same sensibility and mindset as far as having to get guys better. And you know, look, we're in Portland. We're maybe not a destination market, so. Player development is another player acquisition vehicle for us. We can make guys better. We've seen that with Alan Crabb, you know, Will Barton, who's doing a great job in Denver now, you know, as yeah. part of our program. And that's why, you know, we're probably more willing to invest in some younger, uh, you know, younger guys that haven't really maybe tapped their potential yet because of the faith we have in Terry and his staff to get in the gym every day and work. Um, you know, having a leader like Dame, who's the first guy in the gym every day, yeah. makes it easier because he sets the tone. So guys know, look, if you're coming to Portland, it's not for the weather, it's for the basketball. And you need to get and you need to get in the gym and get better. And you know, that's how we're gonna grow as an organization. And you know, we we're able to reap the benefits with, with Alan Crabb. And you know, you saw like a jump Al Frucaminu made, even as a veteran guy, yeah. still young, went from 29% from three to 37. And that's huge for us, because yes. we can slide him down to the four and now compete more against the, the mobile four guys. So, a couple of buckets here. You saw Connaughton get above the rim and jam. Fair just hit. Neil Olshay, president of basketball operations for the Blazers, joining us. You're a good luck charm in more ways than one. Uh, as Trey Lyle shows you how good he <laughs> now, is. Now we see what, a, what an NBA player looks like. I mean, this guy's amazing. He's up to 20 points in the game. Connaughton has 12. Uh, Terry Stott signed to a three-year extension in May. That's one of the all-time coaching uh, decision no-brainers, isn't it, Neil? Yeah, and look, that was always done. You know, I, look, we're, we're big, we do things in, in a certain order, you know, and we don't negotiate in the off season. You know, I don't, I don't want things to be a distraction. Um, we always knew we were going to get a deal done with Terry. Terry was aware of that. He was always going to be our coach. We had an option year, and we wanted to make a long-term commitment to him. But, you know, Terry understands there's times, you know, and Isaiah knows this better than anybody, that the roster is the most important thing, and the players have to feel like they're the priority. And our focus at that point was on the playoffs, getting through that, making sure we were all on the same page. And then our first order of business, you know, we lost on a Thursday night in game five to Golden. And by Monday morning, we had a long-term extension done with Terry. So absolutely a no-brainer. He's been great for our organization. He sets the tone, the culture. Our players believe in him. And, you know, our style of play is so conducive to freedom and guys wanting to play our style that it makes it easier for me to recruit. 
Neil, can't thank you enough for the Thanks time. Thanks so much for having me I on, I know guys. it's not exactly what you wanted, but congrats on that first round victory. It's a, it's a stepping stone here for the Blazers. Neil, thank you so Appreciate much. Appreciate it. Thanks, right. guys. Neil Olshay joining us here in Vegas.